Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. It's uh, December 25 today and uh, we celebrated our Christmas last night. So uh, today we are just uh, relaxing and we are just doing what we are feeling for. I've uh, had a long and uh, nice breakfast and uh, now I felt like doing something simple while I'm uh, continue to relax and uh, just enjoy life and uh, doing what I want. So uh, Last night when I was going to sleep, I was uh, looking on uh, the Etsy shop and I saw these amazing background pages that you could buy and download. And it looked like it was uh, kind of watercolor painted and flowy paint all over the pages. And uh, then it hits me, why haven't I done this? On, why haven't I done my own background pages for journals? So um, we are going to do that today. We are going to do a few pages. Very simple. Everyone can do it. You don't need any skills. Just some watercolor paint. You can use your children's. It doesn't matter what quality it is. And you don't, don't need any special paper or brushes. Take what you have and use. This is... Uh, 80 grams uh, ordinary copy paper. They are going to curl up and uh, get uh, lumpy and uh, like wavy. But you're going to iron them later with your iron. So that doesn't matter. It only makes the color flow a bit different on the papers. So uh, Go and pick up your equipment and uh, play with me. I'm just doing this on an old uh, mail bag. So it is a little bit of glare and uh, glowing in the camera, but I think it will work. I just want to protect my surface a bit and I just took what I had. It's a bubble wrap. So... I don't get uh, color all over my workspace. And then I'm just uh, going to take my watercolors. I'm going to just uh, spritz some water on my papers and uh, choose some color I love. And as this is going to be background pages, you don't need to be so specific about how you do this. Just play with the colors you love and uh, let the paint flow. I'm not going to do mine so dark as I am want to print on top of these when they have dried and gone ironed. So I'm going light but still And I'm just uh, spritzing water on it before I do this. Look, we get a pattern from the bubble wrap. How fun is that? I didn't realize that, but it might stay. <laughs> Maybe I can't use this any way. We get this uh, pattern all over. That wasn't my goal, so I might go to go and find something else that uh, won't give me a pattern but it can be fun on on, on some I'm not sure if it yes it's going to stay see I didn't think about that Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> just spritzing a little bit more and using different colors and just giving it some colors. So I actually going to take a bag instead so we won't get this pattern on everything. can be fun for a few pages but not so many so um, <clears throat> I just uh, changed this to an ordinary plastic bag or you can use a tray or something that isn't uh, going to get uh, get wet from your paint so I'm just blending a few colors that I think I want to use. A lot of blue and brown, of course, that's my colors. But uh, use what you like and what you want. Maybe you are going for any spring theme, so you want uh, light spring colors. And you can do as many as you want and I'm going to show you how I print on them also later on how I use them and when I have done this I just uh, put them on my floor on a big sheet of uh, plastic. Had a lump of brown there. And then you can also do some splattering on the papers. Or use some stencils if you want to do that. I'm just going for some background so you can just play and have fun with your colors but be a bit quick as uh, every stroke you do will be seen on the paper this is so thin so you need to just if you are not so keen on having patterns on your papers you just need to Make them a little bit more quick and so let's go for something. More pinkish maybe. So let's spritz a bit. That makes the brush strokes a little bit less less um, clear on the paper the color floats a little bit more using a lot of water so the color is kind of moving around I love pink and green together. That's uh, really some spring colors for me. You will see later when this dry that it uh, gets nice pattern and uh, it won't look like it's uh, just brushed on like this. 
it will move and look different. And it always dries uh, a bit lighter than it looks, so don't be afraid to use a lot of color. And as this is so thin, you will get the color on the other side too, so you don't need to paint them on both sides. And uh, when you have done this, you can just copy them. There are no copyrights on these, so it's totally up to you how many you want to do of each and every one. So you don't need to do uh, all 100 in a journal. You can just uh, maybe do 10 different and then copy them and copy different text on them. So you double copy them. First with just a color and then you put on some digitals or copy on some old pages that you have from books or documents that you have. I'm going to use some indigo I think. I like that dark blue. Using a lot of water. So for those of you that are uh, celebrating Christmas today, I hope you will get a really nice, calm and a Christmas that uh, you will remember and can relate to as a nice time. I know there is uh, people that struggle and uh, don't think Christmas is a happy time and uh, that's sad but uh, it's how it is. So if you have any elderly, elderly friends or uh, someone that you know is alone this time of year reach out give them a call stop by take time to talk to them give them a few minutes of your time and uh, I promise you you will feel really good afterwards when you have done that I try to do some extra food every year and uh, give it to someone that I know uh, won't get it. And uh, in some way that gives me that little extra feeling of Christmas to give some love to, to someone that isn't going to be with their family or can't afford to buy food. just show you another way to do this. 
maybe I should have glued this down with some tape. So now I'm spritzing the water first and then I'm going in with color like this. So we already got the color on the plastic. Spritz some more water. So we really get it floating and then instead of painting you can just push down your paper and that way move it around then I'm just going in with some more water this way you probably will get a more dotted pattern but that can be fun too to do some different patterns and you also might get different patterns on both sides be careful when you lift it see that was a nice way to do it so um, they are thin and very fragile so you need to be a bit careful when you remove them So you can also reuse the color. Put in some more and And a little bit more color and water on this side. Let me do some turquoise tones too. This is so simple and so relaxing. You can just sit here and think about the next year what you would like to have as a goal what things you will stop doing is uh, also important you have things that you need to rethink and uh, stop doing and also have new ideas and new goals Some things you wish you would have done but uh, didn't have time to do this year. Might be time to do that this coming year. I think it's important to maybe sit down and reflect on what has been going on 
and what you need to change and what you need to continue with. And uh, that's things I I can think about a day like this when I'm just uh, playing and maybe thinking about how my channel is growing and where I want it to go and uh, what things I want to change and also kind of remember to maybe ask you what you would like to see this coming year maybe what tutorials you would like or what journals you would like to see maybe some special theme or colors that is uh, something that i i forget sometimes to do these reflections and just carrying on it seems to be that way these days that everything is going so fast and uh, that's not my thing i need to have a lot of relaxation and i need to sit down by the fire and take my walks in the woods I uh, can't uh, do stressful things anymore my body don't like that as I have my muscle disease I need to relax I need to stay calm but still I have this ambition to move forward and uh, try to do new things that is uh, exciting even if uh, work and uh, Nico and life takes a lot of time and I need to do a lot of of uh, laying down and uh, take it easy but i still have this urge of doing new things and explore and play of course the most important things in life to enjoy and have fun you really need to not forget about that it's so important to enjoy life and have fun when it comes to things that are not so fun and uh, heavy I'm pretty sure that we will cope with them a lot better if we have this uh, taken this time to reflect and keep calm even if there are days that are a bit not so kind to us where we need to struggle and be strong oh my I got deep today but uh, that happens sometime too <laughs> maybe we need this uh, at least uh, some di days of the year to uh, reflect and think about other things than uh, our craft I could do this forever so uh, I probably will speed some of this up so I don't talk you bored and uh, 
will need to shut it off. <laughs> but uh, I want to thank you all for uh, this year. You have been amazing, supporting and uh, I love when you comment and subscribe and I get this feeling of uh, community and uh, love. It's so amazing to get friends online, thanks to craft. And that we have this uh, common interest. And I didn't think before I uh, started the channel and that it was possible to get this feeling of close friendship with someone that is on the other side of the world almost. But I have got really got friends that feel more close to me even if they are on the other side of the on the world than uh, some of the friends I I have daily in my life and that's a bit amazing but I guess you can feel the connection if you meet the right person that uh, can make you feel nice and appreciated and loved. You can feel that even if you don't meet them in person. And all these amazing people that are so inspiring. I see new things every day online. And I think, why haven't I thought of that? These really creative people make my life so rich. And that's so fun. So I hope you liked this idea and uh, I will uh, of course continue this so you can see how I use them. I will uh, go and uh, dry these now and iron them and then I will print on them and uh, show you how I have use them so when they have dried I just put them in my printer as a regular sheet of paper and uh, print on them when I iron them they get flat and uh, won't get stuck in the printer so that won't be a problem with that and as you saw earlier you can uh, do this uh, pattern with uh, bubble wrap or if you would like to have a second layer before you print text or pictures on them so uh, layer and layer and have fun and you don't need to think when you do this and uh, sometimes that's nice and relaxing and reuse them, print them over and over again when you have done a few that you really love. So you can use them forever. And some of them, I guess you can just uh, cut up and uh, use for smaller things or background papers or maybe collage over them when they are not so good. So uh, I will do a few more but I will speed that up so you don't need to listen to me all day and uh, then I will be back with a part two when these are dried so you can see how I use them. Have a really really nice Christmas for those of you that are celebrating today and uh, see you soon again. Bye bye from Sweden.